So what's the process for adding traffic signals? So, you know, again, you know, uh, most of what is done in traffic engineering requires some type of a study. So uh, w whenever we get a request for a new traffic signal, if it's one that we think uh, you know, merits study, we will go out and we will collect traffic data to, to include uh, volume uh, movements. We'll also look at the turning movements because, you know, obviously when you're looking at right turns, you know, they're not as significant uh, of a delay is what left turns may be or through movement. So we need to get that turn and movement data. We also look at an accident history, uh, but there is very uh, specific pres uh, prescribed uh, warrants in the federal manual on uniform traffic control devices. And that's really what the city goes by as the recipient of state and federal funding. So, you know, once the signal is warranted, then we have to look at, okay, is that really going to you know, make traffic better or worse? So we don't automatically install one just because it meets the warrants. You know, we have spacing criteria that we have to consider in terms of upstream and downstream uh, traffic signals. And, and kind of, you know, one of the myths of traffic signals is, is that it makes accidents go away. That, that's not the case at all. Actually, you know, once a traffic signal is installed, you'll, you know, sometimes see an uptick in accidents, particularly, you know, in, in the near term. Now, what often goes down, though, is the severity. So, you know, we have to balance all of those things, uh, but that's the general process for looking at new traffic signal installations. And, you know, generally, you know, as long as there's not a lot of geometric work involved with the installation, the cost of a new traffic signal is in about the $400,000 range.